suspected synagogue shooter Robert Bowers was in shackles and a wheelchair to face a federal judge in Pittsburgh Monday, accused in what's being called the deadliest attack on Jews in U.S. history. We have a beach dog, four down in the atrium DOA at this time. Those who were killed died in the first five minutes of the massacre, the shooting spree starting on the main floor just as prayer services were beginning. Police say the 46-year-old killed six people in the atrium of Tree of Life Synagogue, including these brothers, before continuing the rampage in the sanctuary, where they say he shot five more congregants sitting in their pews. They say he then moved downstairs to the basement, where four members were just starting to pray. Robert Bowers murdered 11 people who were exercising their religious beliefs, and that he shot or injured six others, including four of whom were police officers responding to the shooting. We're under fire. We're under fire. Bowers was shot and wounded in the gun battle that followed with police. Now authorities are in the thick of a deep dive into his mentality and social media. And so far, it's turned up a lot of hate. He's referred to Jews as the children of Satan, calling Jews and Muslims filthy and evil. Hours before the attack, posting, screw your optics, I'm going in. Prosecutors say because Bowers so savagely took away those 11 innocent lives, they will seek the death penalty to end his. Bowers is also described as a loner with few, if any, friends. Today, he agreed to be represented by a federal public defender, and he's due back in court this Thursday morning. Christine.